sometimes I have some photos uh, because I like to bore the audience with my family photos. Uh, hey, here are the kids on Christmas morning. That's right, Santa oh, came, everybody. God. Santa Claus came. There they are. Uh, everybody was uh, happy momentarily until uh, Lola didn't realize that she did not get the handbag that she begged Santa Claus for. <laughs> it didn't come. Um, so I... I learned how to ski when I was 38 years old. So I ski with the heart of a 38-year-old person who learned how to ski. This is many years ago. So wait, are you a good skier now? So I'm always hearing about people talk about how skiing is a great family vacation. And I kept saying, I've never seen my family skiing because they have all learned to ski when they were children and now they're expert skiers. Right. So this year I made it sort of my pact with myself to improve my skiing so I could ski with my children. And? And guess what? Skiing is high up on the mountain. So that's where Shocking, that's right? my view. <laughs> this is me. I finally made it to like the black diamond level. I'm skiing with my daughter. Wait, you my... just started learning and you made it to no, black no, no. diamond? I learned, I learned uh, nine years ago how okay. to ski. Ski. So, but I finally, like, I've, I've never really... Oh, you're older really... than 38? Yes, I, yeah, oh, oh, yeah, yes. Oh, <laughs> oh, Mark, you should go into television. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> so, so here, but here we all are. Now, this is where, you know, like, I am so afraid to ski alone that uh, I... I am. I employ every ski instructor they have. On, I'm like, I need extra. That's me in the white jacket. And look at how many ski instructors are around me. <laughs> it's for everybody else's safety. It's not just for my own because the Kelly employment I, they're, actor, like, yeah. they're like, they get excited. They're like, she's back. Yeah. <laughs> that woman that's afraid to ski. Prices go um, up. So anyway, so so this is a really. It's kind of a funny story. You know, you guys know this if you watch the show. My husband has been. And he worked on this show called Kingdom and became friends with Nick Jonas, which, if you have a teenage daughter, is kind of the greatest thing ever. And then Nick started like coming over to our house and stuff, and it became less and less great for my daughter because it would be like me if Prince and the Revolution came over. Like we kept like uh, like chalking it up to what would the equivalent of but this be like? They're good kids, right? They're they're Dallas kids, so I, I see them all the time. Mavs games. They're amazing. Oh, they're really good. No, kids. they're amazing kids. But it's like when you're childhood idol, somebody you idolize, becomes friends with your dad, it's weird. It turns <laughs> the whole, like the earth rotates off its axis. <laughs> so now, um, so now Nick has decided he's gonna come skiing with us for a couple of days and he brings his brother, Joe Jonas. Oh now, wow. Yeah, no, you guys. Wow. Okay. So my girlfriend, Rachel Harris, was also staying with us, and she and I decided for days that we wouldn't shower or put on makeup. We were like, <laughs> we were like, lum like dirty, dirty lumberjacks, lumberjacks that were in the woods for days on end with just, just chopping down trees. Same shirt, dirty hair, no makeup. Nick and Joe show up, and suddenly we come down full beat, done, <laughs> done, hair done. We put on makeup. We found makeup and put it on and got dressed. And our husbands were like, who are you two? I've never had that <laughs> moment. So, never. So my girlfriend, has a, she has a baby, a new baby named Henry. He's five months old. So Joe says, can I hold your baby? So there's Joe Jonas. Yeah. It's, yeah. I used to like him. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, that's Joe Jonas holding a baby. We did not bathe the baby for the rest of the trip because the baby smelled like, like Joe Jonas. Joe Jonas. <laughs> and we did not want to let that go, so we just stopped bathing the baby. And then, not to be outdone, Mark held the baby, which I got to tell you, as a woman that has had three kids with this guy, every time I see him hold a baby, I'm like, we should have another baby. <laughs> and then my youngest is like, he does not want to divvy up the inheritance any more than he already has to. And he's like, I don't think you need another baby. How